But wasn't Hitler a socialist? I'm... <laughs> wasn't Hitler a so? Unpack, please. Okay, well, okay, right? Everybody knows that the, the term for Nazi... Uh -huh. Somewhere in there uses the word socialist. Oh, yeah, national socialist. Right. Sure, sure. So doesn't that mean Nazis and Hitler were socialists? Doesn't that word have a lot of baggage? Why would you call yourself something that, <laughs> that the Nazis called themselves? Okay, so <laughs> without going on a tangent, the Nazis, <laughs> the Nazis co-opted the term. Um, uh -huh. Literally, they co-opted the term. It was a form of propaganda. Um, Hitler wanted to sound more friendly and welcoming and... So he took socialism. He appropriated the concept of socialism uh, for the Nazis. Because um, there were socialists at the time who were doing good work. Is that what you're saying? Yes. There were very good socialists in Germany and in the areas around Germany who were remarkably successful and very popular. Um, and one of the first things that Hitler did upon taking power was murder communists. Um, Everybody forgets that part of the poem. Yeah, the famous poem, you know, they, they came for the Jews, you know, there was no one left. Um, it starts off with, first they came for the communists, but I didn't speak up because I'm not a communist. Then they came for the trade unionists, but then I didn't, I didn't speak up because I'm not a trade unionist. But everyone forgets those two parts. Conveniently. Yes, conveniently. Um, so without getting it too far into Hitler. Um, <laughs> too late. Baggage, terminology. So why do we not call ourselves other things? Well, okay, so I, I, I identify as feminist, right. right? So why don't I call myself something else? Um, Milo Yiannopoulos calls feminism cancer. Um, people on the internet, anime Nazis, call feminism cancer. Um, they say that feminism is terrible and that you shouldn't call yourself that because blah, 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 something third wave feminist, blah, blah, blah. We don't want to give them power. We don't want to give them control over our terminology. We don't want to let the bad people determine when we do and do not get to use words for ourselves. Counterpoint to that, though, if you are a womanist, a woman of color who has chosen to refuse the term, mm -hmm. that is absolutely your right. So we're not yes. saying that you shouldn't do that. Yeah, if, if you want to use other terms for yourself, that's awesome. Go ahead, do that. But, but the thing is, is that groups who want to make positive progressive change in the world they have to go to a lot of trouble in order to establish themselves and establish what they are in their ideology. Bad things will get attached to those words. Um, secondary meanings will get thrown along with them. Um, but we, if we just shed a term every time it gets a bad connotation, we would never have movements that are identified for any amount of time who amount to anything. Um, if the socialists change themselves into the peopleists after 20 years, nobody would know who the peopleists were. The peopleists would spend 20 years trying to, to get everyone to say, hey, I'm down with what the peopleists are talking about. And then 20 years later, they'd be like, oh, but the peopleists don't like dogs. So then it's uh, entityists. And then for 20 years, they have to, to establish themselves as entityists. And so... It's this sort of brutal cycle where the people who are oppressed have to keep rebranding themselves and keep reestablishing what they've already worked on. Uh, and that is one of the strongest propaganda tactics um, of the status quo, is to look at any organization, any group that is espousing change, and to pressure them to disavow the past of their movement. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think, I think that that's, that's a big part of it. Um, now there are, there are of course a lot of different words that we use, you know, socialist, communism, Marxist, Marxist, leftist, all of that. Um, and they do all mean different things, but we can't just throw the history of these things away because then we look like a fly by night group who has never done this before. Mm -hmm. Um, we lose credibility, we lose credence, we lose name recognition and there's so, but for example i cringe every time i hear the word communist to this day yeah and i don't want to use it i say socialist because i'm afraid of the word communist and i don't even really know the difference i just know one is a little bit safer to say oh uh, yeah what's the difference 
okay, what's what's the difference between socialism and communism? Uh, that's a complicated thing, and we'll talk about that in another video. But the reason why um, socialism and communism have a different response in you is because of the way that you were programmed growing up. Mm -hmm. um, we never really talked about socialism growing up. Occasionally, it came up in these discussions, um, but really, communism was a boogeyman. Yeah. And I think that the word communism is is like powerful because of that. Um, we like to be people that everyone likes and agrees with. Like we would love for everyone to be into leftist Marxist politics. That would be awesome. But that's never going to happen. Um, so instead, I think that it's important that we reserve the power of that word we reserve something that can kind of make people uncomfortable occasionally. Okay, so, yeah, this is your personal opinion and not what you're saying that every... No, no, do. no. So, but this is similar to the equivalent of me saying, yeah, no, I am a bitch. Mm -hmm. I know that's a gendered word. I know that it's got a lot of baggage, but bitches get things done or whatever. Yeah, absolutely, okay. absolutely. And and that's going to make the right people uncomfortable. It might make some of the wrong people uncomfortable. But I, and it makes but, me uncomfortable. But it also, it, that, that uncomfortability can make you curious. Yeah. It, it catches your attention. Right. Uh, you hear it and you're like, huh? Um, and He's openly using that term. And yeah, why? yeah. I think that, used wisely words like this that power can help to radicalize people mm. and it can help to it can help to draw lines um the, there are people who are never going to sympathize and putting those people on the defensive and making those people making those people waste their time performatively rejecting us that's a good thing you hear that nancy pelosi yeah yeah yeah, fuck you, Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> we're just capitalists, and that's just the way it is. Yeah, yeah, we're I'm I'm I am not. So. <laughs>